A 31-year-old Las Cruces nurse is facing serious charges after allegedly driving on the wrong side of the road, crashing into an oncoming car in the north part of Las Cruces. Now, a person inside that other car died. That crash happened on December 2nd on Roadrunner Parkway. According to court documents, the nurse tried to get a fellow nurse to dilute the alcohol content in her blood after police failed to obtain a breathalyzer test on her at the scene of the accident. ABC 7 Soul Signs breaks down the details in those documents. He reports from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. According to court documents on December 2nd, John Signor was driving south on Roadrunner Parkway. Ileana Sayalandia was driving north on the wrong side of the road. That's where both collided and both had to be taken to Memorial Medical Center. Signor was pronounced dead at the hospital. Sayalandia was treated for her injuries. Again, according to court documents, because Sayalandia was wearing a face mask, no alcohol was detected and no breathalyzer was conducted. Sayalandia admitted to having a margarita at this local restaurant. After the scene was processed, it was learned no breathalyzer was conducted, so a judge approved a search warrant for Sayalandia's blood using a blood kit. According to court documents, an AMR ambulance employee overheard Salayanda requesting a bolus IV to dilute the alcohol in her system. This is how it works. This represents the blood in Salayanda's system. The IV would dilute that blood as well as the alcohol in her system. Now Salayanda faces charges of vehicular homicide as well as tampering with evidence. The toxicology report returned with high levels of ethanol or alcohol in Sayalandia's system. As a result, the 31-year-old also faces charges of driving under the influence. From Las Cruces with the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Saul Signs, ABC7. Tampering with evidence is a third or fourth degree felony. ABC7 reached out to Las Cruces police and they had no comment. A spokesman with Memorial Medical Center released the following statement, quote, we are deeply saddened by this tragedy and our thoughts and prayers are with the family who lost a loved one. At Memorial Medical Center, we take allegations related to our employees very seriously and cooperate fully with the investigating authorities. However, our policy is to maintain strict confidentiality on all matters related to our patients and employees. Therefore, we are unable to discuss the circumstances around this situation.